Let me know if you guys like this type of video in the comments when you guys watch it. Because I know it's a little slower paced than usual, but fucking sick cunts, okay? Yo, what is up, pussies? We are back with another video. We are going to be doing a merch overview, and we are going to be calling the winner of the giveaway. We are going to be doing how to make a cutoff, because I posted a picture in one of the t-shirts that I cut, and you guys said we need a tutorial for that cutoff, because it looks fucking sick. So I'm going to give you guys that, and then it's just going to be like a little vlog, and I'm going to show you guys one of my newest purchases that's also going to be some new content coming very soon. It's gonna be like a little vlog, little tutorial, little merch thing, it's gonna be sick. School's been going good, I appreciate all you guys saying like, yo dude, good luck in school, focus on school, whatever the fuck. I'm not gonna focus on school, but thank you for those kind words, okay? Oh yeah, listen, thank you guys so fucking much for the merch drop, it went incredibly well. If you got something, you're a fucking sick cunt. If you didn't get something, you're still a sick cunt, but like not as much of a sick cunt. I know, I'm just joking, I realize like, you know, prices, whatever. If you did buy something, thank you guys so much for the support. And even if you don't buy anything, just you being here watching the video, liking the video, following me on Instagram, that support is enough. I don't know how the fuck this video is going to start, but let's get into it. Okay, <clears throat> it's time to pick the giveaway winner. So you guys know I had this post up, and I'm going to scroll. It had 1,500 comments, so it's a lot of comments to scroll. I load them all up and scroll through them. And I'm just gonna randomly place my finger on one and fucking grab him. All right, here we go. Santiago Venegas. All right, Santiago, you have no photos of yourself, but I'm gonna see if you. Uh, I'm gonna see if you're active on Instagram. So hopefully you answer this FaceTime. Yo, Santiago. No way I won. Bro, you fucking won the giveaway, bro. Holy fuck. Yo, I'm in the Zoom class right now, yo. No way, dog. Wait, can you go to the camera or no, bro? Well, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What the fuck, man? <laughs> yo, I guess Santiago didn't want the stringer, bro. Hold on, let me try to call him again. Dude, no fucking way. Yo, stop hanging up on me, dog. Oh shit, there we, go. there we go. Santiago, what's up, bro? Where you at, bro? Oh shit, Montclair State. Montclair State University. Yo, shout out. Shout out Montclair State, bro. Let's go. Yo, you got anything to say, man? Bro, I love your content, dude. Fuck yeah. I'll, uh, I'll shoot you the details, bro. Right, thank you. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That was very refreshing, because that guy was so thankful. So, shout out. Santiago, I'm sorry for any of you guys that didn't win, but you guys know me. There'll be more. Yo, guys, so I'm filming this like the day after I just filmed that little clip. But guys, I'm wearing this flannel. I'm going on a date, okay? And I'm gonna vlog it. Nah, I'm just joking, guys. Imagine you pull up to the apple orchard and like I'm chilling there like this. But listen up. It's time to make the cutoff. This video has been done by a lot of people. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make my cutoffs because I posted on Instagram this picture with the Diesel T-shirt, and you guys said we like you're, that's a cutoff. You cut that yourself, which I did. We need a tutorial. This is what I'm doing. I'm giving you guys a fucking tutorial right now. And also, girls, you guys have been like drop merch for girls, drop merch for girls. You can wear my shit. Just wear a sports bra under or no bra. I literally don't care. Let's get cutting. Okay, so you're gonna need a couple. Materials. So first you're gonna need a shirt. We are using the Sush Birdwatch shirt. This is an XL so I have no problem cutting this up. It's either you make a stringer or you make a cutoff. There's no in between, okay? So like this cutoff right here is perfect. You don't wanna make it too thin because when it's too thin, you're just compensating for your small dick. You're gonna need a flat surface. Here I've got a table. And then you're going to need scissors. None of this fucking None of this shit. Special scissors, okay? We don't need special safety scissors. So you lay it out flat. Like I said, you don't want to go too, too close, because then it just looks like shit, okay? But you don't want to go right on the sleeves, because then you look like a nerd who, like, only, literally only cut the armholes, so it looks really weird, like a condom 
that like fits perfectly. It's like literally just your arm. You can't see any lat or anything, okay? Like I've said, I've said it on TikTok, I like to usually go like the length of my penis, so it's like, you know, usually that's a good thing to go by, because most of us know our length pretty well, so instead of grabbing a ruler, you can just use that length. It's about two inches away from the sleeve. All you're gonna do, just nice and swift. You're gonna wanna keep tension on the shirt somehow. So, the this half of the shirt is hanging off the table, so it's pulling it a bit, so it's keeping the shirt tight. Because if it's too loose, you're not going to be able to cut it. Okay, so then we just cut. Don't worry about this. These like little uh, shark shark teeth looking things, don't worry about it. Sometimes I like to like, you know, we're, we're human beings, we are animals, so we have more than one limb to use. So I'm just going to use my foot here. See how easy it is now that my foot is there? Keeping tension on it. And then this last bit, honestly just fucking cut it all off. It looks like shit, but I'm not worried about what it looks like right now. Because it's all about what it looks like when you put it on. So now we go to the other side. You want to make sure that it's like fully at the top. It's perfectly folded over. Alright. Sleeve. Sleeve is nice and tight. I'm going to prop the foot up. And we're just going to cut. You know, I'm going to go left hand. I'm ambidextrous. I'm not really, but I am. Perfect. Alright. So now... We've got the cutoff, and look, pretty much the holes line up perfectly. If it weren't, you can just fix it. Here we go. Now what you can do, because it's all frayed out a bit, what you can do is toss it in the dryer, and that will like clean it all up. But yeah, go ahead and look at the finished product here. So once you have it on, I like to put my hands here, my thumbs are locked in, and I can feel which side is higher. All you gotta do is this, just a little push. And then you'll hear the seams pop. Now, perfectly even. So here is your standard cutoff. And so what I like to do, when I wear my cutoffs, I when I, as soon as I put them out, put them on, I always roll the inside. Okay, always, every time. You can see it in my pictures, I always do it. Perfectly right where the lat ends, that's what you want to do. So you can do quick, quick lat spreads. But yeah, so now I'm gonna be out here watching for birds. Okay, so. I'm wearing another flannel. I stole this fit directly from John Skywalker's Instagram story because we both got the same Young LA drop. But yeah, I'm going to Harley Davidson, the store. I gotta go get some parts for my newest purchase, which we will be looking at at the end of the video. Let's go to Harley. It's actually like 45 minutes away, so I'm actually kinda pissed, but. Okay, so y'all are probably wondering why I was just at Harley Davidson. I don't have a bike. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that picture of me on this bike. This is my dad's bike. Um, I've been around bikes since I was like four years old. I was on the back of this thing. I've been around them pretty much my entire life. So I just purchased this bike for a pretty fucking good price. I mean, it's it's kind of fucked up a bit. Previous owner had dropped it like four times. Guy, guy was a, a doofus, I guess. But he this was all chipped up. The sides were all chipped up. This cap right here is missing. Yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good bike. Except the, the neutral clutch. Like, getting into neutral is all fucked up. I don't know what's wrong with that. So we're working on it. But, yeah, lately it's just been me on the bike. Just trying to train with it, like get to know the clutch, get to know the bike. So I've just been going around like parking lots and stuff. Yeah, so you guys will be seeing some bike content type shit. I'm actually about to go ride right now. So I'm gonna mount my phone. I'm gonna mount my phone on this thing and then hopefully I'll be able to get some like sick shots. Let me know what you guys think of the bike. By the way, this is a Harley Davidson 883 Iron Sportster. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Yo, so that was me riding. 
I only got up to like, I only go up to like 40 miles per hour in that parking lot. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating the past couple of nights, or honestly the past like week. So I've been eating this, what I'm about to show you guys, it's like a thousand calorie meal, so I pretty much eat only protein and like a little bit of carbs throughout the day, and then I save up for this meal. It's almost like I'm fasting. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating and I've also, I'm at like 192 morning weight, which is insane. So I got the fucking, I mean the shreds, you guys, I mean you guys have probably seen it like lately on my stories and stuff. The shreds are coming in. I, like I've been looking like a sick fucking cunt, especially on the bike. So I'm about to show you guys what I've been eating. It's 11.30. This is the last thing I eat. It is unreal. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so if you're not an idiot... You already know what's about to go down. Casein whey, mix it up with some cold water. Rice crisps. I'm about to show you guys exactly what I do. Like I said, some cold water. So every calorie matters. So we wanna do about 40 grams of this casein. Okay, 39 grams, and obviously, I mark it down in my fitness pal. See, look, I still have, I have a thousand calories remaining on the day. So I'm about to knock them all out right here. Then we do the whey. And here the whey, I'm only gonna do about, only gonna do about like a three quarter, three quarters of a scoop. So 20 grams. And then essentially you just blend it up. And when you blend it up, you get the fucking milk, right? So you see here, one and a half cups, AKA 41 grams. So that's what we're aiming for. So it's easy for us to plug in. So 41 grams. And right here, this is your meal. But here, here's the kicker. You're not gonna use all of the milk in the one serving. So what does that mean? You can eat more servings. So I literally eat like three bowls of this shit. That is gonna do it for the video, guys. I don't know if you guys are gonna like this type of video. It's kind of slow paced. Um, pretty much just like what I've been doing lately is like riding, trying to learn, doing homework. Let me know if you guys like this type of video in the comments when you guys watch it. Because I know it's a little slower paced than usual, but fucking sick cunts, okay? But yeah, you guys know the deal. Use all my links in the description. Follow me on Instagram, all that bullshit. Maybe we'll do like a Q&A or something soon. So, appreciate everyone who bought merch also. Peace.